confidence. confidence. Right now, um, this I, I'll just give a little intro into this because this this has really worked for me in using your mind mapping technology, Barry. And that is when I do presentations or talks, I now always have a mind map that I've prepared in advance. And I don't always rehearse it, but sometimes I do, obviously. Um, but one thing's for sure, once I've done that mind map, it gives me enormous confidence in what I'm presenting on the day. And I might never need to refer to it during my presentation, but I have confidence in delivering my talk or my presentation or workshop because I can always go back to that one single sheet of paper and refer very, very quickly to it to make sure that I'm still going in the right direction. But because I've drawn it and it's already in my brain, uh, hopefully memorized in my brain, it gives me that confidence when I'm presenting. So how does that happen? Um, well, the confidence comes, I think, at, at several levels. First of all, it is your comfort blanket. If you're giving a, a talk, I mean, you kindly videoed me at Sandwell College a few months ago, and I was giving a talk in front of nearly 100 people it was a new talk. I hadn't given the, the talk before and I have a mind map and I had done a little bit of rehearsing, but that's generally uh, all all I need to, to know. It is on stage. It is a comfort blanket. Um, how many times did I look at it during my presentation? Well, actually, in the first five minutes or so, I think I looked at it more than usual. <laughs> I think if if you remember, I was feeling a bit lightheaded. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I'd had this uh, this virus and uh, I'd actually said to the audience, you know, if I uh, and so it had been affecting my balance. So I would said to the audience, if I um, if I fall down during my presentation, please, you know, don't. Uh, give me mouth to mouth resuscitation. It's just that I've lost my balance, so just just pick me up gently. That's right. Yes. I mean, I've had a, a bit of a laugh at, about that. Um, so the thing is, it is a comfort blanket that you can look at if if you need to. But as you've already alluded to, uh, if you've rehearsed it a few times, you 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 often don't need to to do that. The next thing, and this this taps into making best use of our short-term memory and our working memory is that all the mind map is really is a network of trigger words and this is one of the it, you know it's not a secret in your system here but trigger words or prompts is is a crucial thing to retrieve information from the brain and and so the strategies that the memory gurus use is always stuff that they're needing to remember is linked to something, but it's linked in the form of a of a, of, a, of a trigger, you know, and and usually visual images are, are things that make that make good good triggers. So the thing is that in front of you, when you're presenting from a mind map, if you get lost and stuck, you're not going through a whole script to find where you are. First of all, it is a map, so you navigate to you know, if you're halfway through your talk, you know you're halfway around your map. And then you're looking for the the next trigger word. And that is all the brain needs. And the confidence that you have developed now, Michael, because I know it took a bit of time for you, is yeah. the confidence that, that because the trigger has worked before, it'll work again. Yeah. And, and the, the thing about the need to rehearse is just to check that your triggers are working. Sometimes you, you find that there's a word that you use as a trigger or an image and it, it just doesn't work, so you have to replace it. So there's there's sometimes something you have to do there. But once you've once a trigger word has worked, then in the short term that remains a reliable trigger word. So there you are on stage, all you have in front of you is a hierarchically arranged network of triggers you look to where you roughly are in your speech and you look for the next trigger and you're back on track. Um, and so p 
part of the confidence is having the confidence that all you need for your next few sentences is your next prompt or, or trigger. Trigger. Yeah. And I think the other thing that what people don't realise about public speaking is that if you're talking on a topic that you really genuinely know, and most people you know, wouldn't be giving a, a big talk in front of a large audience on something that they know nothing about. That is a risque uh, strategy. Um, but what they find is they, their, their brain tends to go blank uh, under mm. those situations. A little bit of stress, it can throw you. And so the confidence comes with, with this technique when you're using it for presenting is that, okay, deep breath, look at your map, look at the trigger word, let the trigger word do its stuff. It it draws the information um, out from the the brain, um, and and you're back back on track. So I, yeah, I've often, sorry, Barry. I've often heard you talk about these trigger words are in essence search terms on Google. You know, like keywords. If yep. you're doing a search on Google, then you get whatever million results on that search. And it works in the same way when you're using your trigger word with the knowledge that you already have around that subject. It is. If, if you're knowledgeable on a subject, you've got a billion bits of data probably yeah. on it. The yeah. problem is, where on earth is it? And this yeah. isn't a conscious thing. I mean, the worst thing we can try and do often is, is sort of – you see people in exams doing this. They're sitting – they're trying to get the information out you know, and it's, yeah. it's it's an impossibility. If you haven't got a good search term for what you want, you haven't got a good trigger or prompt, it's a very difficult uh, problem that you give the brain. But if you give it the trigger word, particularly if that trigger word w went into the brain when you were, were learning and remembering it, it is just so easy to find it. So as you say, trigger words, prompts, uh, what the, how you access all of that data that's in in your brain to find that one little piece of information that you want to talk about for the next couple of minutes brilliant okay so confidence equals trigger words basically <laughs> well, it's, um, a, well, it's a comf comfort blanket as well don't forget yeah, the confidence yeah. of having a comfort blanket um even if you don't have to use it yes 